Welcome to the Newmark Professional Turntable Tutorial. Records are pretty old now, but it's important to know how to use them still. We have a wide variety of records in our Southern Appalachian Sound Archives. When listening to a record, the first thing you'll need to do for this turntable is remove the dust cover and move it out of your way. After you've removed the record from its protective slip, you can place it on the turntable, lining the needle up with the hole in the middle of the record. Be very careful when handling the records as they can get scratched, bent, or broken. They can also be melted, but I don't recommend doing that. The large bands on a record indicate the tracks. Some older records will even call each song a band, so it'll go band one, band two, so you know where to move the needle to start the track. So to start listening, you'll want to turn the power knob and then push the start stop button, which will make the table start moving. You can change the speeds here. Right now it's on 33, you can change it to 45. And if you push both of these buttons, it'll go to 78. We'll keep it on 33 for now. You can also reverse the way that the table spins by pushing the button back here. So you can finally hear the hidden message on Dark Side of the Moon. There's a small light right here that you can turn on if you have trouble placing the needle correctly. And to turn it off, you just pop it back down. Now there's a process to putting the needle on the record. And what you do is you move the arm out of its nest and you line it up with the band that you want to start on. It's okay to move it just a little before the band, that way you don't miss any of the song you want to hear. Once you have it placed, you'll then move this lever down. You don't want to already have it down because you may drop the needle too fast or too hard. And that's how you work just the turntable. In Special Collections, we have a different setup, so the turntable is connected to an amplifier. Make sure that the headphone jack is plugged in because that's how you make the sound come out in our system. So you can push power, and then make sure that you have the phono button turned on. And then you can adjust the volume. And now you can listen to the music of Jean Ritchie as she sings folk and country songs. So if you're tired of this song, you can lift the lever, never just move the needle, and then you can move it to a different band. There will be a track list on the record as well as on the case for the record. Once you have it lined up, just drop the lever. On this turntable, you can also adjust the pitch by sliding up or down. Kind of sounds like a horror movie now. And then you can speed it up. To quickly bring the pitch back to zero, you can push this button here and we'll bring it back to normal. Pushing it once more will take it back to the pitch you had it at. And then you can slide it all the way back to zero when you're done playing with the pitch. When you're completely done listening to the record, you'll want to pull the lever up and move the needle back into its cradle. 
push stop to make it stop turning, and then you can turn the turntable off. Make sure you also turn off the amplifier. And that's how you work the turntable. Thank you for watching.